G'day, Adam Makers. This is Nat with another tutorial. This is Oxygen tutorial number six. Okay, I'm going to start with the new model. I'm going to show you the XYZ tools up here. Now, if you before I do, I just to show you you can move the model anywhere by holding down the uh, right key and dragging around in a particular window. But if you want to do some fine movements in a direction and not move it in another direction, like move it in X and not move it in Y. Uh, you can change some of the settings up here. For example, let's only move it on an X. So even though I'm moving up and down here, it only slides in one direction. Only move in Y. Again, I can move in all sorts of directions, but the model itself only goes in one direction. And Z. So again, only in Z only in Z, no movement here in this window at all. Okay, obviously as you would expect there's uh, copy and paste tools in here. So I'm going to select half the model, <coughs> like so. Control C to copy, click elsewhere, Control V. It appears in exactly the same spot, but probably what you want to do is very carefully before you lose the selection, just drag it sideways. And there you have half a cylinder. If you want to select a uh, part of a model and then deselect a certain amount of the model, if you hold down the control and shift key, you can then select another area and that deselects. So dragging over using the left key, you deselect. Okay, as I've mentioned before, you can also hide parts of the model. This is handy when you actually only want to select certain parts and not accidentally select others. For example, if I select half of this truck down the center, Control H to hide it, certain amounts of it disappear. Now, basically, so when I go to this view, so that when I say select uh, this point here, I'm only actually selecting it on one wheel, not accidentally on two wheels. This is handy when you're editing, say, half a vehicle and you're going to mirror it or something like that. Hiding um, parts of the model temporarily is uh, quite handy for uh, various sorts of complicated editing, especially as the model gets uh, more and more complicated. As I've mentioned before, to unhide, relatively simple. Control A to select all, including the hidden sections, and then Control Shift H to unhide everything. Okay, another option is this uh, centering pin. There's a pin in the uh, um, modeling here that allows you to uh, make transformations around the pin. So let's down in this view select one point. If you press C, you now have a reference point. Uh, for centering on that point. If we go back up to this point, select all and rotate in 2D. If I use the pin, instead of rotating there in the center, it will now rotate around the pin. Obviously with that there's a undo button. We can do undo to get it back. Another couple of features here. There's a mirror feature. Select all the vehicle in that view, and up here is a mirror in X. Basically spins it around in the X direction. Now note, this actually does change the direction of faces. So if I refresh my um, view, I'll find that the faces are actually all now inside out. There's an easy way to fix that. Up in faces, there's a reverse. So that will reverse all faces back in the other direction. Now after you've done movement of a model, um, one of the things you should do is uh, fix up the normals. It's relatively easy. The normals are actually these uh, represented by these blue lines. If you, if you transform a model like so, the blue lines may not necessarily now be lined up properly. Easiest way to fix that is press F5. Now they're all straightened out. 
This makes a difference to the uh, representation of the model because uh, the normals are what uh, is involved in reflecting light. If they're not arranged properly then uh, the vehicle surfaces will look odd. One other thing you can do here, faces sharp edge will make everything look bold line but when you go to the bulldozer preview you notice has a little bit of an ugly edge to it. For example, we'll zoom into here. You notice that roof's looking a little ugly. That's not really the way we want it. If we go back and surface smooth, it's typically the way most of the stuff is arranged, although some stuff will need a sharp edge. Go back to the preview, looks a whole lot nicer. Another tool up here is the um, texture tool. Under tools, mass textures and material renaming. It's quite handy uh, when you want to rename or redirect a texture. If you click on the texture, this is actually a list of all textures. The ones in red means there's something wrong with the path. This is a BIS model so there is some red here because some of these textures are not being found. But if you click on a texture it shows you the full name there. What you can do is then in the box below type something different. You may want to, for example, rename it like that. Now, going forward, that's all being renamed across all the LODs across your whole model. You can change the 3D view down here with a couple of icons. These two up here. If you click that one you notice it looks a little different down here for sure. Click that one beside it and you'll see a different again. Obviously you can move around in the preview. Looks a little different. Could be helpful for your editing.